Okay, this is part three of working on this journal that I made out of a little purse. And I am working on tags. And last you saw me, I was gluing this down and um, I needed, I was gonna go get some sort of ribbon or something for the tassel and I found this package of seam binding I had, so I thought that would work. It's a little darker orange, but I still think it would be pretty. So just gonna cut some of this and put it through that hole. I went through and I already had tags found, did I? Yes, I had already found tags to go in each pocket, but I didn't have any of the decorations picked out for them. So I went ahead and did that so we wouldn't be looking through all my piles of stuff, but we'll um, make the tags for this journal. So there we go, that's where that was going. All right, next was this um, double tuck here and here. I have this index card that I think my daughter made when we were playing around with the um, gel plates once, and I thought the colors were perfect for this journal. So it's a, on a five by eight index card, so I just folded it in half. We're gonna use it as a journaling card. It goes back there. And then for um, to go in this tuck, I had picked out this um, journaling card I'd already made. It was um, just collage and I don't have an ink or anything so let's pick an ink color and and then I thought it needs a focal point so I was just sticking through my stash so I pulled out this one picture it's from a piece of scrapbook paper um, kit I'm sure it says happy on it and some flowers and the colors are good for this journal so we're just gonna glue it right there and that one will be done. Okay. I could be using my uh, art glitter glue, but it's buried over there. Oh, I actually can see it. <laughs> so I might grab it later, but good old fabric tack, my favorite. Okay, so that's a cute little journaling card and then you can write on the back. Tuck it right there. Make sure everything is in frame. Looks good. Okay. Um, the next pocket had this um, flip flop in it, that, which I made uh, a long time ago, and I finished it off um, on the last video. Okay, we have a, a pocket here made out of a business envelope, and I put the salvages that Robin sent me and a sticker on the pocket. Now, um, I've got two tags to go in. One of them is this, and I don't think it needs anything. I think you can write on the back of that. It's from a file folder. I don't want anything else on the front. I do need something for the tassel, and I didn't think about that. So let me grab my ephemera folder back here. I have a bunch of things for tassels here. Um, let me pull them out. I just include them in the folder. I took a big sheet of cardstock, just a scrap piece, poked toes on the top, and then I um, put in just these ribbons and fabric strips and things that basically were on my desk or just everywhere. So I collected them all and thought they'll be in my ephemera folder and ready for a tag. And look, that green would be perfect. So I think I can cut it in half. And we can put it through here. And finish that one off. And I'm going to take this whole thing and we're gonna put it right back here in case we need it again. Okay, so that one's ready. So it can go behind the pocket. No, actually I'm gonna put it in the pocket because I think it's bigger. Make sure, again, okay, barely in the pocket and then this one I'm gonna we're gonna create it and it's gonna go behind the pocket okay it was just a collage um, yeah I was gonna get the um, what do you call it other ink other ink other glue out but we'll see with the fabric tag oh, look 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 come 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 guys stick yourself down and stay down um, or glitter glue. I'm just, my brain is kind of 
leaving me. Okay, so just collage, right? And I had rounded the corners. So I found this picture of this house. I thought the colors were great. It's torn from a book. And then this quote from uh, somebody. Uh, it's an English jurist. Oh, sir, uh, Edward Coke. For a man's house is his castle. There goes my phone again. All right, I shall return. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna interrupt this. Um, I have my phone on all the time. I know I can put it on airplane mode, but I have elderly parents and I have a daughter that lives two and a half hours away, so I'm not going to turn my phone off and be out of contact with people, so I am just apologize. So anyway, I um, have the picture of the house and I have a quote by Sir Edward Coke for man's house is his castle. Okay, so I thought we could just do both of those. Just tear around it. This was just stuff I had in a drawer. I call it digital prints, but most of the stuff in there are not digital prints. It started out that way. It was just uh, smaller things that just uh, ended up in my stash. I'm sure this picture is from Reader's Digest. If I ever get one, I always go through and look at the pictures and see if there's anything I can use. Okay, so we've got the picture of the house and then the quote. And I'm going to ink it up. Let's try the green. Sage green mixed with the brown that's on the dauber already. These hopefully will just kind of blend in to the background. Looks like it's all part of it. I'm not gonna put anything else behind it. I'm just gonna glue it like it is. Okay, I am gonna get the art glitter glue. I need to refill my bottle, it's getting low. But we can do this paper on paper. This obviously was torn from a book as well. Okay. I put ink around the whole thing. All these bases were in my stash. I think I've already said that. So this can be considered a stash buster journal. I already said that. But it's just great it's getting some things out. And like I said, I took all my bases that I had made, because you know you see an idea, someone makes something, so you make a few of them. Next thing you know, you got tons of bases and things. I put them in a filing cabinet. Okay, I like that. Um, I like that tag, I mean. Okay, I like the whole thing, actually. Okay, on this, for this tuck, I decided I had this index card that I had copy dyed, and on this side it's kind of yucky, so I thought let's put some scraps of that scrapbook paper from the book here, maybe like that. And then I found this medallion, this black medallion, it has two birds on it. I thought that would be kind of really pretty. You got the black J there. J can stand for junk journal, of course. So um, let's do it. trim it off after I get it on. I'd much rather do that than try to fit it because that's just the lazy way to do it I guess. Oops. Knock it over. I don't know where this paper came from. I mean I don't know if I talked about it when I did the uh, signature or not but I really like that page. A little bit of it left over and this one we straighten that up a little bit. Still right on the back, and you got that interesting um, dyed doily on the back, and we have an interesting um, design on the front. Just gonna get the edges where I cut it out. This obviously was cut from a book as well. Okay, get the bird straight. Let's see. I'm not sure. 
We'll say that's good. I really like that one too. Okay, what's going there? I probably should have stitched around that, but it's way too late now. I've already put it in the book. Okay, let's see. This one, I have this tag. And it's got some yucky stuff on it. So I was kind of looking at this. And I've got another tag and a card because I've got pockets on both sides. So I have several things here. Uh, I need to cover that. I just saw this picture. I thought that might be kind of neat. But we've got... Let me cut it out there for one thing. Hang on. And now I'm being paged. Oh, goodness. What a day. Okay, so I'm so sorry. It's been one of those days where the phone's been ringing, people have been coming over, um, electricity's gone out, all that sort of stuff. So, um, anyway, I was trimming this picture, and while I was uh, kind of waiting for my brother-in-law to leave the house, I was um, looking at this tag and I was trying to get the that to work on it before first part of this little video and then I, I don't know I was having trouble because I have to cover up this bad spot so these two scraps were here so that why don't I just use those even though that one's got a hole in it for some strange reason I think that's where you're supposed to cut the the paper you know it was larger than 12 inches so um, but I didn't so we're gonna have a hole in ours so we're just going to glue this on, cover up that bad spot, and then glue this picture on. Of a, it's probably a famous pig painting or something. It obviously came from a book. I'm going to put this one off the top of the tag, and then I will trim it off. I, said, I probably shouldn't have glued the whole thing, but I did, so... Just have to be careful of the gluey parts. Okay. And I'll just put it up here, let it dry. We'll use it maybe in some other project. Okay, then I was just gonna put her and the baby right here. I'm sure it's Madonna and Child of some sort, but I don't know who the uh, painter is. I don't know why I'm picking this all of a sudden. This glue. Why not, I guess? Okay, and then what kind of... I should have got strings. I had that green left over, but it's really not the same shade. Let's see what else is on my cards. Of course, I have the orange. There's some yellow. Red. Don't think... Eh, there's lace. Lace might be pretty. I don't think yellow checked. We would go with the journal, but not necessarily with this picture. So let's go with the lace. I found when I was kind of waiting, you know, doing a little clean out while I was waiting, I found that a little um, orange flower with a little mirror in it, which is what's on the front here, the little mirrors. So I'll try to work that into a tag somewhere. Okay, I'm going to wait to place this after we do these other two. Oh, stick it to my fingers. Okay, um, this one was just a collage tag, and um, I have stitched around it already, and this one didn't stick well. It's, it's cardstock, so it's a little thicker, so give it some glue there. I thought maybe some book page on there to kind of tone it down, and then I had these orange flowers which I thought might not be too bad on there. Without, we could put that on there too. Is that too much? Okay. We've got some white piece, pieces, pieces, places, <laughs> parts, white parts. I'm trying to find a glue, uh, not a glue page, but a inking page. Okay. Just kind of get rid of those white spots. Okay. So we'll try this. We'll see what it looks like. Anyway, 
um, I did parts one and two, no, two and three on the same day. So it's the same day where I've had the phone calls and the electricity going out and the um, medicine alarms going off and half a dozen other things. So plus I made chicken and dressing from scratch in the middle of it. So wild day. I cut these from a book, obviously, and I don't know. I thought I might use them someday. These were pretty orange flowers. I like them. And then it's a lighter version, I guess, of the same sort of flower, which is a lighter orange. So I'll put that on there. to it. Not too tall. Let's just put this on. I can't remember where I got this. I cut it from something, I guess. It's going to be a little thick in the book, but it'll work. Okay, I'll cut these off. Alright, that. And then on this index card, I had um these blue things already put on there, so I thought maybe we'd add a little something else, and I found this purple flower, so I thought that might work. It's all the same color tones or shades. Shades means one thing, and tone, or there's another word, means something else. Okay, it goes that way, so we're just going to put it like that, I guess. Really tip it around. Okay. Okay, I like that. Alright, now I have three things for these this pocket, so um the oranges work well because of the oranges in this pocket. Oops, my dark pepper's right in the way. And let's see, let's put the lids on the glue. That's the pen that goes in it. Okay, and then this one. Okay, so that can be in there. And then um, it flips open. Hopefully you can see all that. And there's room here for some. I didn't glue these, so if they're glued shut, <laughs> someone someone else did that. So um, we can put that one in there too, except I think she needs to be on the outside because of the lace. We'll put that there. And um, I think that's fine. The purple here all goes well, so I like that. Okay, um, let's move on. I think that's the end of the first signature, so the second signature writing spaces. We have the belly band and um, I have this envelope made it out of some copy paper that I sprayed some inks on so um, I thought we could decorate the back of it. I've got that all here. Let's see. Let's move this. Up. don't want to lose that. Rid that fabric. Okay. One of the doilies again. I found this picture. I love it. Of the daisy. So, and then the hummingbird with a thistle. Isn't that pretty? The colors all go great. So, I'm just going to use that. This needs to be trimmed straight. And what colors do I have? Let's see if I can get some orange on here. upside down. There it goes. Okay, come on. Pick it up. Get some more. Okay, so I'm going to put that off centered a little bit. Okay, do the inside. Inside circle. And that thing where you dab it into the I've seen um, 
Gail do it. I guess it doesn't have to be on your arm. It could be on something else. Okay, that works pretty good. Now we're gonna put this on maybe down here. I'm going to use this because the picture is cut from a book and it's a slick page. So we'll try the Fabri-Tac. And the hummingbirds next. Okay, so that's the envelope. Now inside of it, I had an index card that I already had made. It had a map on it and um, some bits and pieces there. So I'm just going to add this. It was from something. I think it was a freebie from somewhere. So. Um, it's a moon and a house on it. And I guess that's the sun. I don't know. The colors kind of go good with this background thing. I don't know exactly where I'm placing it. I guess I should have figured that out. But first, do I want to place it here? Up a little? Well, let's just do it this way. And I put this on the writing side, but you can still, I mean the line side, but you can still write on the back. So, okay, that's going to go in here. And this is going to go... into the belly band right here all right we've already done this one and here we have another one of these that I don't think it needs a thing except some um, ribbon which we had the green left over that in the pocket and I didn't do this one as a tag a tuck so um, it's only got the one pocket but I had this bright yellow tag and I decided what can I do with it so I found a parrot that will look good on there and then this sticker and the sticker that says memories so let's go for it I think needs new glue. And the word memories in the middle. Okay, and you can write on the back. So let's put this in there with this one. Oh, it needs a tassel. Okay, I've got that yellow gum. It might work with the parrots. Well, the parrot. One parrot. Okay. That green doesn't want to cinch down, does it? Alright, we have a tuck here, and I have a few things. Um, this background, which is crazy wild. It's lots of metallic in it. This is from, I think, candy wrappers or something. And the back is pretty wild too. So it needs a little extra glue, I think. It will be, it can be written on. It's just a little lumpy, but it works. Okay, I found this picture. I thought it was really pretty with those faded colors. And I think it goes well with the colors in this background. So, um, and then I had another one of these little doilies, of course. So I think maybe there, it's like a label. We're going for it. I'm not even going to ink it. Okay. Once again, we'll try it. Okay, 
I love these little doilies. And uh, the die I got from Amazon. Okay, uh, so it went in this tuck. Now we have another tuck and, uh oh, wait a minute, it's not a tuck. Aha, uh -huh, it's a journaling card, but you know what? It can be a fold out journaling card and then you still can tuck behind it. Okay, so I have this. It's plastic and it's kind of see-through, so I'm just keeping it like it is. It might be something fun to play with. And this tag, I was thinking, a journaling card. I don't know. Is it a journaling card if it doesn't, if it's tall and skinny? When's it a tag? Does it have to have the ears lopped off like that? I don't know. Okay, I have a yellow flower going up like that, and I have a yellow bird. Then I thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to stick one of these loaded stickers or stack stickers. It's just a bunch of different things on that. Um, it's a pre-made sticker. Label. Label sticker. How's that? A bunch of little bits on there. I'm just going to stick it at the top. So I think it needs to go on first. So we just peel it off. And it's ready to go. I'm going to add a little extra glue to it. It says hooray on there, so. Oops, I think it's a little crooked. Maybe no one will notice. Okay, we're gonna stick that on, but I don't want hooray to be covered up, so we'll see. <laughs> we will work around hooray. So I don't think I need glue on that very tip. I probably want the bird on first too, but I mean, before this, but too late now, huh? Yeah, I do want that bird under there. Okay, we'll get it. I'm gonna call this Stash Busting Purse Journal. Definitely used a lot of stuff for my stash. Okay, there we go. So, almost there. Get that one it goes in here. Then we have this one left. And while we're here, let me talk about this. I have this. It's made. It's homemade paper, and it's uh, envelope, and it's like a little card. So I just put the whole thing. Since the colors were kind of pretty with the pinks, I'm putting the whole thing as it is in this back pocket because it's nice and roomy. I also have a sheet of green labels, so the green goes really well with the green on the cover. So I'm including that. The popcorn bag is in there; it can be used or not. So um, this goes in this pocket. Okay, last one. Then. And we'll hope the thing closes, right? Okay, I had this picture. I thought it was very pretty. It had some of our colors. So I'm just going to glue it on. And this is a fabric um, covered index card. Glue it on. It has a little cluster. We'll glue that on. I'm gonna to have to leave for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go again. This is finished, so I'm just gonna put it in this envelope. And um, did I fix it? Yeah, something can go behind it. I have a red tag here. There, it will go behind it. It'll be good because it pull out some of the reds. I don't have anything to decorate it with. I didn't um, grab anything, so I'm gonna look at my clusters done here. I do have a full stamp sitting here. That would be pretty. Let's just do that. Okay. Just glue that full stamp in the middle and we'll call it done. So we'll get it right side up. Okay, this has kind of been a wild day for doing a video and I actually did two. And please don't judge me by those videos. <laughs>
Needs a topper, doesn't it? Okay, boy, that might be a challenge. Let's look and see what I can find over here. I found that. Reds, kind of orangey reds. Why don't I just glue that on like that? And I have stitched it down it with, when I have my embroidery machine, it's the beehive stitch. Got a little too much glue. Let me turn it around. Put this side up. Okay, and we're adding that to the back of this, which is still not dry, so I need to keep that stuck up like that. All right, I think this journal is gonna be just fine. It's a little, it's getting round, but it can't, it can handle it. The closure can handle it, so. And of course you can take out anything you don't like and put in whatever you want. So whoever gets this, I think you'll like it. And um, I wish you the best of luck with it. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video and um, bearing with me as I had a bunch of stops and starts. So I thank you very much and I'll talk to y'all later.